So here we have the Toyota Yaris on an 18 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the centre, you can see the main trip computer. Uh, so you can change the information that's displayed up there. For example, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer, should you wish to. And you can see the total miles of this car. They are 58,210. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls on the left uh, hand side. The buttons I was using when we go on the right hand side. We then have cruise control underneath that. And in the centre, the main colour touchscreen for the car. So as you can see, we have satellite navigation. That's a nice colour display, very easy system to use. The sat-nav is activated uh, with this button down here. You can pair your phone from the button above that, which we're not going to do at the moment. And once you paired your phone, obviously you can make and receive phone calls. But you'll all be able, also be able to stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. And as you can see, we have AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your music in this car. And this car has got a full colour reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the vehicle is headed in as well. Below that, we then have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature uh, with this dial, driver temperature, you can increase and decrease the fan speed. You could determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. And when you're happy with those settings, you can turn your air conditioning off, back on or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed, which you can hear it doing, and the direction of the air for you. Uh, below that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary and USB inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and then these buttons here. So we can turn the traction control on and off. We can put the car in eco mode. And if there's enough charge in the, vehicle, in the vehicle, we can put it into EV, so electric vehicle mode as well. Now, at the moment, the car is in EV mode. As you can see, the car is technically running. Uh, so it says ready. Uh, it would say ready. And if the EV wasn't there, that would mean that we were using the petrol engine. At the moment, it's the electric motor that's powering the car. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.